So here is the system Victron Multi Plus batteries more batteries color control battery monitor And here is a oh, landlord. That's a guitar factory here, yeah, I didn't give it here. Alright, time for commercial break now. Make some money for us. Uh, <sighs> food and drink exports to the UK. So, uh, last year. and here is Booster. There's the main man, the Booster. So here is Victron Multi Plus Inverter Charger with nominal power 1.6 kilowatt. This inverter charger, as the name suggests, can invert and can charge. That means you can charge batteries also using external generator. And what we have here interesting is a relay. We have three battery banks where two of them are AGM batteries and one battery bank is under the cabin and it's flooded battery and as you might know the AGM batteries have absorption voltage of 28.8 volt that means whenever the battery voltage will reach that which is 25.4 right now this relay will disconnect those batteries and only the battery under the cabin floated battery will be charged what we have now the situation is Victron is turned off and I'm just checking the battery Battery is pumping 11 amps at the minute to the battery So let's and the solar is giving 46 watts Here is small Solar MPPT charge controller Which take cares about those two modules so 46 watts from the battery, so that's 2 amps from the battery and oh, as you can see, you can see watts also so from this number you need to minus solar and we have turbine power there so how about 100 watts in nominal power is 1 kilowatt Oh, nothing now. And again, gas is coming. 200, 260, and slowing down. As you could see, mast is not very stable. So we're gonna turn on the load right now, which is our house. In the first moment, we're gonna see probably freezer, uh, refrigerator starting, so high current. Minus 1.4 kilowatt and the TV is on so we almost in balance right now pulling 30 watts oh. seems to be spinning very fast at all Mara oh it's an illusion nothing so here we are we have turbine and solar generation right now and we can see two amps can we see uh, we cannot see four amps going to the battery three amps to 
two amps, three amps, four amps. Let's wait for a gust. Well, if you stay like this, happy days. Five amps, constant charge. You see what I'm saying? Visually, it doesn't look hugely different between two and because it will 15. not. It will not. It will not see a difference. But I can. You can. It's look. Just yeah. That's your RPMs here. Twelve amps. Fourteen amps. Fifteen amps. So picking up to 300 watts. Here is a 2 kilowatt generator. Whenever there is no sun, no wind, and we have a champions. Do you know anything about them? Noisy. Well, because one of them is not working, I think it's. Uh, it's and those guys don't need uh, energy. They completely free. Not like us, addicted to energy. Stupid people, huh? So, oh, few more words about the BMV 700 battery monitor. Uh, it's connected to this uh, Bluetooth dongle, and I have access to it through the app. And what we can have, what the relay has. In the settings, we can set a battery capacity, charge voltage, tail current, Puerk at exponent. It's a factor that you have much less capacity, not much, but less capacity. But when you discharge with high current and more capacity, if you discharge gently, Puerk at exponent is closer to one for lithium batteries and it's higher for lead batteries charge efficiency factor things like this 85% I have said that maybe it's right maybe not and uh, what's interesting here is a relay so the way I have the relay set up it's off at 28.8 and actually I can click it here here is the relay check it out I'm gonna invert relay for a second just to show you nice huh anyway so you can set it on state of charge you can use that relay to start generator or whatever I'm using the internal relay to control the relay as I said, the throated batteries are under the cabin. What else is here? You can set up audio alarm on this whenever your battery gets empty. But well, it's not set here. I don't want to wake up Noel in the middle of the night. Uh, and the basic screen shows you that we're currently charging with 7 amps, 8 amps, 10 amps. And as you can see, the wind is not steady. Battery voltage, state of charge. Whenever we start pulling, this guy can calculate for you the time remaining. 10 days right now. Oh, we were pulling one amp. Stay and the history, which is very nice. As you can as you can see, the minimum battery voltage was 18 volts. Maybe I should set up this alarm for Noel so he treats battery nicely. But anyway, that 18 volts appear happened to the battery under because those batteries are again protected by the relay. 
whenever the voltage goes down below 20 volts those IgM batteries are disconnected and this is color control connected to internet it sends all the data to your VRM portal you can see your consumption through the day through the week and through the month and six months back so that's it for now we're gonna try now washing machine which I just fixed because the door lock was broken but probably 1.6 kilowatt Victron will not be able to handle but we'll see what will happen when we start uh, heating water I have 30 degrees right now but if the immersion heater is 2 kilowatts then we will we'll hear overload but let's wait for now Washing machine boys! Washing machine! Yeah, it's up to 20, 20, 20, 23, look. 21. Ooh, 20 amps charge from the battery and solar. 26. Battery voltage, 28 volt. Right, so the washing machine takes 140 amps whenever the immersion heater kicks on. And that's probably... 125 amps, 130 amps and overload alarm. Victron will go three times overload and that's it for him. Then we need to restart manually. Two point one kilowatts. Generator. He doesn't see generator at all. No. Okay, let's turn off the washing machine. Okay, we have the generator charging off. See, I find when well, well, it went, it went straight off. Yeah. Yeah. It's there's something about the power assist or something that it doesn't like it. Yeah, you see, the, the power quality just, it will not assist. The power, uh, the power assist is designed for assisting the grid if you have a bulb and you're parking your boat at the shore you want to charge your boat you want to let's say do a pizza and the shore there is a shore limit 6 amps sometimes and that's the way that's when this guy assists strong grid but not right we're charging now 27 29 30 What's the story? Why is the relay not clicking out? Oh, there is uh, 31 and a half Absorption And why is the generator going right now? Because the battery is full. Alright, oh, yeah. So it doesn't need all that much. It doesn't need all that much. Those batteries are disconnected now because the relay is off, as you can see. So I'll turn off the camera again. Because <laughs> it's not going to work to wash everything. No. We're doing another experiment. A lovely generator with uh, no exhaust and washing machine directly to the generator.
Ja. Uh, washing machine didn't want to start on the generator, but we have it back on Victron with the temperature set, set to zero. 37 amps, 36, 35. Cold wash. The most effective solution is cold wash. The most cost effective solution. Oh. 20 amps now, what's uh, the pump? Yeah? The pump is okay to handle. The motor will be difficult when everything is wet. Look now, 40 amps. Not too bad. What kind of come up to? You could see 130 amps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gust. Woo! Look! Free wash right now. Not anymore. Well, looks like the washing machine is okay on the cold wash pulling up to 50 amps let's see how much is that in power ah Victron fan is on it's about 700 amps of AC load And actually you can hear your washing machine here because the motor requires reactive power also as magnetic field requires reactive power. Well, I think another stage of washing we just entered and maybe the motor will spin faster. Here is a flooded battery bank I was talking about. It's under the cabin. So we have about 400 ampere hour capacity. Chickens also don't need electric energy. You can see we are in the second stage. So I didn't catch that high RPM. Oh, now. High RPM. Well, it needs a bit of power to start. But it's okay. As soon as it spins. Only... Look! Not too bad. Lots of juice. Not much. Huh. But it's losing a lot when it starts to spin, yeah? As soon as it spins, look at the floor. The whole house is shaking. Yeah. So you can imagine putting a turbine on it. But you see, that's good that the floor is moving because it can't be rigid. If it's rigid, it's cracked. Well, the so solution for you is prepare hot water for the washing machine. How? Gas. And what? Just throw it in or? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We're starting to fly! That's why I have my aisle lights. Look, this is an airplane. It has aisle lights and everything on it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and they don't work during the day, they're brilliant. Look. They don't work to asking either. asking for permission to take off. Yeah. <laughs> this is Captain Noel speaking. Our passengers ready? Let's go! So, cold wash is done. Smells good. We more and more environmental friendly every day. People in India are not using hot water at all. So why should we? Okay, so what I want to show you is Victron Remote Monitoring Portal and let's have a look at Noel site and let's go straight to advanced tab and let's look at last 24 hours so as you can see actually let's when I was there two days ago custom date so I was there on Tuesday. Let's start from Tuesday midnight because the night was very windy. Oh, actually I came... I came just here. So let's go from... Yes, let's go from here. Let's say from here. Okay, let's say from here. The day before I came, and all charged his battery up to 28.37, and then through the night, as you can see, it was very windy. So, but battery reached even 30.4 volt. Then I came in the morning at 11 o'clock. I rewired the battery monitor, so there is nothing here. The yellow one is a solar charger charge current. And then the voltage is here. Whenever voltage goes up, that means the, the wind turbine is charging. Uh, and since then, he didn't charge using generator, but let's have a look at this. Here is the battery power. That's when we were using a washing machine. Battery going down to minus 1.3 kilowatt. That's a st That's the generator input here. That's the moment when we had a Jenny on when I was there. Mm. Oh, this is nice. This is showing uh, output power, which is the consumption. So here is the microwave, coffee for Noel, a few minutes later coffee for me. And we, then we start playing with the uh, washing machine with the immersion heater, but Victron couldn't handle that. So that's a wash here from 12, from 1 o'clock. Well, I don't know, but anyway, that's through the night, system turned off, wake up, consumption, consumption, here is watching TV, here is probably microwave, watching TV, midnight, sleep, 6 o'clock, wake up, only 60 watts, which means probably no TV yet, and here we are. Coffee machine TV again. TV TV night. So state of charge. This is a state of charge recorded by Vitron MultiPlus. So it's going down because MultiPlus doesn't know that the solar and wind is charging. We have a proper state of charge on a battery monitor, which is the tablet, but we don't see that from here we 
could see that if I have a battery monitor connected to color control but I don't have so that's it for now mm, just show you at the end maybe last seven days and loading loading AC input power last seven days so last seven days he had to use generator one two three four times and not too bad because it's windy from there from from 11th we have 13 today so we are here uh, maybe can show you different sites here is a customer with a heavy load his house is using close to 40 units a day last seven days 30 units today 40 units 40 40 40 oh here as you can see it was windy he had got the generate wind generator and solar system so he was able to recharge battery here at this day okay bye bye that's it say some powiedz coś powiedz bye 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 powiedz jestem baba jestem baba nara ja ja